at night when passion's ebbing tide left bare the sands of truth yasmini resting by my side spoke softly of her youth and one she said was tall and slim two crimson rose leaves made his mouth and i was fain to follow him down to his village in the south he was to build a hut hard by the stream where palms were growing we were to live and love and lie and watch the water flowing ah dear delusive distant shore by dreams of futile fancy guilt the riverside we never saw the palm-leaf hut was never built one had a tope of mango trees where early morning noon and late the persian wheels with patient ease brought up their liquid silver freight and he was fain to rise and reach that garden sloping to the sea whose groves along the wave-swept beach should shelter him and love and me doubtless upon that western shore with ripe fruit falling to the ground there dwells the peace he hungered for the lovely peace we never found then there came one with eager eyes and keen sword ready for the fray he missed the storms of northern skies the reckless raid and skirmish gay he rose from dreams of war's alarms to make his daggers keen and bright desiring in my very arms the fiercer rapture of the fight he left me soon too soon and sought the stronger earlier love again news reached me from the kabul court afterwards nothing doubtless slain doubtless his brilliant haggard eyes long since took leave of life and light and those lithe limbs i used to prize feasted the jackal and the kite but the most loved his sixteen years shone in his cheeks transparent red my kisses were his first my tears fell on his face when he was dead he died he died i speak the truth though light love leave his memory dim he was the lover of my youth and all my youth went down with him for passion ebbs and passion flows but under every new caress the riven heart more keenly knows its own inviolate faithfulness our gods are kind and still deem fit as in old days with those to lie whose silent hearths are yet unlit by the soft light of infancy therefore one strange mysterious night alone within the temple shade recipient of a god's delight i lay enraptured unafraid also to me the boon was given but morning quickly followed mirth my son whose father stooped from heaven died in the moment of his birth when from the war beyond the seas the reckless lancers home returned their spoils were laid across my knees about my lips their kisses burned back from the comradeship of death free from the friendship of the sword with brilliant eyes and famished breath they came to me for their reward why do i tell you all these things bearing my life to you unsought when passion folds his wearied wings 
sleep should be follower, never thought. Ay, let us sleep. The window pane grows pale against the purple sky. The dawn is with us once again. The dawn, which always means goodbye. Within her little trellised room, beside the palm-fringed sea, she, wakeful in the scented gloom, spoke of her youth to me. End of poem.